Hey guys, my name is John from Lulu's and we're all about creating unique ear styling that helps you stay trendy while expressing your personal style. In today's video, we're gonna be styling Stephanie's ear for round number two. You guys remember, she came in earlier in the year and we styled her ear, we added a couple of piercings, we changed some jewelry around, we gave it a whole look. And this time we're gonna do the same thing and it's gonna be a more fresh version, more modern version. And we're gonna show you guys what we're gonna do in just a bit. Hi guys, and welcome back to Lulu's Body Piercing. My name's Stephanie. I was here a few months ago, and Johnny did all these piercings for today. We actually want to add more piercings, maybe switch up some jewelry. So I'm very excited for that. A little nervous, because you never know if it's gonna hurt or not, but I am so excited. We're definitely going to you know, discuss a little bit more about what are my options, and we'll go on from there. So make sure you guys keep watching. So you want to put a ring in the middle there, right? I love it. But there's other options you have too, so don't feel like you're stuck with that. that one. This earring right here, I could take that one out and put something smaller and move this one here maybe and like mix it up, you know? Definitely fill in, like, I think we'll go with the silver one on this side then. The silver one's for this side, right? We can do the silver one on this side and then we can do something different on this side. Okay. But your, your flower's up here, so it's not really facing me. Mm -hmm. It's facing up. Yeah. So I kind of want to see if I can take that out, clean it, and move it on a different part of here and see how it would look. Yeah. I really like these. But oh, that's what I was going to tell you. These you can do day one. I have to put two studs there, and then later on when it's healed, then we switch them. Oh, okay. So we could do that 100%, and then we could later on we could switch them out. Okay. You know? So pretty much we already have like a pre-existing canvas, if you want to call it that. And I'm trying to figure out like which ones I'm going to remove and what I'm going to replace. Just because like jewelry has certain shapes and whatnot, and I want to make sure what's going to look right and what's going to feel right. Uh, the tragus currently is pretty irritated, is the right word for it, on this side. So I really can't do much. I might have to just take it out, clean it up. This one, almost the same thing. I might change the tops to something a lot smaller and flatter so it's not gonna get snagged on as easily, just so it's healed. Later on, I could put them back. I'm also thinking of taking these guys out since you can't really see how you can't really see them from this view. I would have to go like this for you to see them. So I'm probably gonna take that out, maybe use it to pierce it here, and maybe add two piercings there and hoop them up possibly, and then change these out and do something like tiny little studs. Maybe we do like different shapes and charms, make them look cute, possibly pierce this or this, depending on which side. And I don't know, but I'm thinking about filling up this gap up here. Maybe do a stack, maybe retire one of these. You know, there's something I want to do and I just absolutely can do. And there's some things I can do. So I'm going to put two hoops in your ear now just to see what it looks like. And if I dig the way it looks and you like it, cool. We'll and just... if not, we can put them here, huh? I would have to pierce it and then later on we'd have to switch it. Oh, I'll switch it. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Perfect. All right, guys. So we officially finished styling my ears and so far from my experience, it was a little painful as you might see in the videos, just a little bit, but nothing you guys can, you know, handle. I would definitely do it again. I love the way it came out. I can't wait to come back again and add more. You know, we're gonna take it slowly, but yes, guys, I highly recommend you guys come to Lulu's Body Piercing. I love them. They are the best, and they just know how to make you have a good time and not focus so much on the pain. So Stephanie came to us with a couple of piercings that were a little bit problematic, and the placement wasn't where we wanted it to be. So we did this time around, is we pretty much rearranged everything. Before we rearranged anything, I had to take all her earrings out, completely clean everything. And then we took out her tragus completely, cleaned it up really well, and then replaced it with a longer piece of jewelry with a bigger backing, just because it wasn't healthy and we wanted to make sure it's in a healthy state going forward. Moving on to the 
style of the actual ear. Uh, she had a cluster of flowers on the top of her ear that never really looked right. We kind of took that out and we wanted to reposition it in her conch. So we did, we started to pierce her conch, put that in there and really made that piece stand out and really give it the shine that it actually deserves. Going forward with the side of the ear, uh, we originally wanted to do like a style where we take the largest gem and work our way up. And that's kind of what we did here. Last time it really didn't work out too well because we were missing some of the jewelry. This time around we had everything in stock and it actually looked really nice. So we did on the very bottom is we did a four millimeter and then moved up to a three and then a two and then a 2.5 on the very, very top. And it kind of creates like this crescendo effect going all the way up. And then we repositioned the flower that was in the tragus and put it in her first lobes. Just because we wanted to keep that flower theme going, we just repositioned and make it look a lot nicer than it actually was. I think this time I feel a lot more satisfied with the work we did just because it looks a lot better. It feels more right. And then going forward, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna add piercings to the already existing look. I would say in about a year or two, we might be able to finally reach the final destination, so to speak. But knowing Stephanie's personality, she's always gonna wanna switch stuff out. So you're gonna constantly see new styles year after year after year. And that pretty much completes Stephanie's part two look. If you guys wanna learn how to style your conch, click the video right up here.